Welcome, welcome Scorpio. Welcome to Kiki's doorway. Let's see what your soulmate wants to review or redo for November 2nd to November 4th, 2018. Mr. and Ms. Scorpio soulmate want to review, redo for November 2nd to November 4th. What does Mr. and Ms. Scorpio soulmate want to review and redo? What actions will Mr. and Ms. Scorpio soulmate take, both mentally, physically, emotionally, financially? Okay. Masculine Scorpio, your soulmate is understanding what does it mean to articulate agriculture in a life. What does it mean to advise the structure of their foundation? for not just their finances, but their ambition. Their ambition has to tie into what they respect. Yes, and what they respect will receive and generate material gains. But they have to have a firm understanding of what their ambition, what are they truly admired about? What ambition, what gives them ambition and respect? When they find what gives them admiration, respect, and that ambition and respect, then what their Mapping or materializing will become a magnetic field for them. It will become that magnet. This is what your soulmate is not only redoing, but reviewing how to do. Also, this is might be on your mind, Masculine Scorpio. Feminine Scorpio, your soulmate is seeing how they can use transportation as a way to explore how they can bring out their creativity and their passion. They know what they're passionate about requires them to travel. So they're, they might be traveling right now or seeing how the distance of, of their travel should be because they don't want to overexert themselves. When we love to do something, sometimes we forget how to have that balance. So yes, Miss Scorpio, your soulmate will be traveling towards what they're passionate about, but they're going to have a clear mind of how to balance this juggling act, but it doesn't feel like it. It feels like they're very rooted in what they want to do. Even this is you, Miss Scorpio. You're very grounded on how you want to go to your next destination. Now you're seeing, okay, if I'm going to my new career to my, or expanding my own business or becoming a new team to an organization that I feel connected to, how long does it take me to travel there? You're starting to really look at time management and that's very bossy. That, that really tells you your maturity. 
Masculine Scorpio, your Taurus, including yourself, is becoming your own foundation. You're starting to set those pillars of which makes you feel grounded, but what brings out your true passion and desire. Contentment, peace, abundance is coming to you, your soulmate. A happy home life. So yes, you're starting to reflect on how to create your home life and how to reflect that on the outside, which you feel in the end. The successful completion of a project, that is what's going to be starting for you for November 2nd to November 4th. Female Scorpio, your soulmate is looking at the five of water. They're looking at, yes, the five things that they have used as transportation, such as, yes, they have to use their finances to either get a ticket, a metro card, a bus, fare, a taxi fare, but yet they're seeing maybe that might not be the, the way they want to use for travel if they want to balance out their finances and still be able to create the things they love to do. So they're going to look at the five ways in which they were handling their transportation and becoming more rooted. So yes, they're going to use their willpower, which is in the fifth house of Leo. And they're going to use their intuition to say, all right, what can I do to turn things around for me when it comes to how I use transportation and the things I love to do? So that might mean rather than use a taxi they might use Uber because of the distance it takes. Again, it went from how they were calculating the time, using their time on their cell phone, seeing how long did it take them to truly get to their destination, or using an app that tells them how long does it take for them to get by train, by bus, or by taxi, and seeing, okay, which way really will suit me in a month, as an example. When they start thinking in these ways, this is what I was feeling, they're going to see the positive in the situation and not cry with spilled milk because everybody has delays. Everybody, we always on the go. So sometimes we, even when we're hungry, we might spend money and then realize, oh my God, I just spent $20 on a meal that I didn't even really finish. Uh, rather than buy outside, I might end up cooking a meal or getting a meal already pre-cooked for me and I could just warm it up in, at my job. Like, re looking at things, is like, yes, you could cry over it, but you can't pick up that spilled milk. You can't drink it. So they're seeing how they can use this experience for the next event that's going to take place. What event is going to take place? Masculine Scorpio. Your soulmate is becoming that moving night of water they're charging ahead with their intuition and what they feel is right in regards to their foundation so they're definitely more grounded in their emotions they're becoming more romantic in how they move meaning when we move sometimes we're thinking okay i'm just waking up to go to my job okay they might say yes i'm waking up to go to my job this is the job that i love this is something that I appreciate when I'm there, everybody smile when I'm there. And when I ask them, they're happy that I'm right there at that moment. They actually get upset when I'm sick because they can't feel my energy anymore. So they're using ways to keep them enthusiastic and inspired. And from that, they're going to start to fall in love again. Either they're going to think about weddings or they might be invited to a wedding proposal. The need to balance out their emotions will definitely be on their mind. And an invitation to a social event will give them this challenge or a test to see how they balance out their emotions in a social environment. Female Scorpios, your soulmate, including yourself, is becoming the two of fire. You have come into your own, so you're stepping into your own and so is your soulmate. New partnerships or contracts. So, from you balancing out ways to travel, how to, yes, use your service in a more manageable way. So, yes, you might have a service, but you might not want to overspend. You might not have enough to get a taxi, but you might have enough to take uh, a bus or a train. How many times do you want to travel on a train? You would think about 
That would mean, do you need an unlimited for a week? How many times do you want to go out within the day? We tell you the service that you will be providing to your clients or the type of jobs that you will be accepting because you are understanding that your energy, female Scorpio, is important and your soulmate is understanding that their energy too is very important. If they don't have the balance and energy, how can they perform their service? How can they really give to any service that they are driven by when you do this you'll start to continue on moving forward so will your partner so masculine and female scorpios you and your soulmate are seeing that it takes two to tangle yes but how do you want to tangle your emotions and your intuitions how do you want to tangle your emotions with your drive how do you want to tangle the way you value yourself based on the amount of energy or the amount of travel. That does not mean that you do not love it. That means now you're seeing the value of who you are and what you are providing to others. And that's a huge thing, Mr. and Miss Scorpios. And that's a huge thing for your soulmate. So, simmer on that. I love you. I love you, Mr. and Miss Scorpios. If you like what you have heard, if this reading resonates with you, Please like, share this video with others, and subscribe. If you would like to know anything further, look in the description box below. We will see you on the other side.